Hello and welcome back to Weston the Historian. Today I am going to be starting a new series to celebrate this tradition that I've created called West African Wednesday. Um, so basically, for the past, I'd say about a year, every Wednesday, I would wear, I will, I am continuing this, I wear a dashiki. It is, well, I'm going to explain to you what that is in this video, but um, it's a West African garment, and I've been wearing it to, because I like West African culture and history, and I decided that I was going to do something with West African Wednesday, and what I decided I was going to do is start making videos every, either every Wednesday or every other Wednesday, where I talk about West African history or culture or some specific part of it. So today, because this specific thing is surrounded with uh, the dashiki, I decided I was going to make a video on the dashiki. So, um, when talking about the dashiki, uh, we should first talk about the word itself, which comes from the Yoruba word danshiki, uh, which was in turn borrowed from the Hausa word dansiki or dankiki. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I, uh, yeah, I think I probably pronounced it wrong. But that Hausa word dankiki or dansiki, it means underneath, um, because it was worn underneath in a bigger robe. Uh, so, well, was obviously because you just heard it's very popular in Yoruba and Hausa culture, um, which both of those cultures are mostly in Nigeria, but all over West Africa. So it's a very popular, it, it originated in West Africa and it's very popular in West Africa. And the clothing, like the earliest examples of it, um, originating was now Southern Mali in a lot of Dogon uh, burial caves. And it that would have meant that it would have been worn as early as the 12th century, which, I mean, that's just crazy. The, th the fact that this piece of clothing has survived from the 12th century to today is amazing. Although the design has gone through changes, it's just, I it, don't know, it's very fascinating. But, um, so as I had already mentioned, the shirt, it originates from West Africa. It's very popular there. It's very common to see there, but it actually, it took off in a lot of African-American and a lot more uh, liberal white American cultures during the 60s and 70s, which is, you know, when the civil rights movement was at tight and a lot of, you know, you know, black culture was uh, flourishing. And not only that, but black people were gaining more and more rights. And as a result of this, a lot of, uh, a lot of African-Americans as a way of showing pride and, you know, an opposition to Western culture, some way to, you know, return to African culture and to like celebrate their African roots as opposed to, you know, America. A lot of African Americans begin wearing this type of shirt. Um, you'll see a lot of, sh uh, a lot of pictures from the civil rights era of people wearing, you know, shirts like this. And if I recall correctly, there's even, I think even Malcolm X would wear shirts like this. But, um, yeah, and as a result of this, it became, like, really, you know, pop, as I already said, it became really, really popular among African Americans, and it kind of became this political symbol of, you know, rights for white man and black man, and also not only just equal rights, but also just black pride, I suppose. Um, so after the Civil Rights Movement, um, not fizzled out, but after it after the civil rights movement. I don't know how to word that any other way. Uh, the shirt actually lost a lot of its steam. So after like the 60s and 70s, you wouldn't see as many people wearing it. However, it is beginning to rise a lot more, to be a lot more popular. So you're beginning to see this rise back up in popularity as people are just wearing this garment more and more. Um, I've seen a lot more people wear, wear this uh, uh, you'd be surprised. I mean, <laughs> I've seen, pe I've seen people wear this. It's not as common, um, but it happens. It's of course not super, super popular in the States, but it's still a thing that I will occasionally see. But with all of that being said, that pretty much does it for today's video. It was short. I did actually have 
uh, a script, but I kind of went off script, if you could not tell from all of this. But, uh, yeah. I have nothing else to say. Goodbye.